Uh, it's a very good point we earned. It's a bad point we gave away. Um, I think the resilience of the group coming back and not quitting and actually playing, for the most part, a pretty good game. Uh, the brain cramps, I can't use some words I'd like to use. Um, and the individual errors were very costly for the group as a whole. And those have to get cleaned up. There's some guys that need to get sharp. Uh, when it got to 5 2, was there a specific turning point in your mind that brought it back the other way? I thought our penalty kill did a good job. There was some momentum uh, gained off of um, doing a good job and killing. We didn't have to kill many. But if it gets away on us any further, we're in trouble. I thought that Lizzo's line did a real good job of creating some uh, uh, energizing the group again. And, um, you know, we can talk about uh, Coper maybe wanting to have a, a save back. But he stopped, uh, I think Kev turned the puck over again for another shorthanded breakaway. That was a big moment as well. Todd, you mentioned that big moment. We talked a lot last year about the importance of timely saves. Is that save on offer just an example of how important it be? Yeah, uh, but they're timely both ways. So that one tonight on Ajo for the th potential third shorthanded goal uh, was, a, was a huge save for us. Um, I'm not sure we get anything out of the night if, if that one goes in. And you mentioned that comes from a turnover from Kevin at the blue line. He has three assists on the night, but quite a few of those turnovers. Is that just the risk of war you kind of no. No, we'll take the three assists, but we're not going to do that other stuff. Uh, Kev has had some really good games for us. Um, yeah, he had three three assists tonight, but tonight was not one of his good games for us. Are you running out of patience with him? No. No, we've only played six periods, so. But you've seen errors like that last season as well. Yeah, but that. he's he's a risk and reward player. Um, we allow him to play with some risk. Uh, he's dynamic. Um, he can clean this up quickly, he will. Trevor Moore drew, I think, three penalties, got the goal. Is when he's doing those things, is that an example of when he's kind of at the top of his game? Oh, I think so. Um, those things are happening, but I, I evaluate what I think Trev's on his game. I said this the other day when he's escaping, he's rolling out of the corner, he's got the puck, and that's where he draws penalties because he's so quick. And he's very good at it. It's a skill he's learned somewhere that. I hope rubs off on other players. And we we try and work on it, but very good at it. Todd, how many two games? Oh, in, sorry. You're two games in. What do you what do you like most? And what concerns you most? Um. Well, two games in, uh, we held this team to 19 shots on goal. Uh, that rarely happens to Carolina. We did a pretty good job uh, against Colorado, yet we gave up. I don't know what it was, nine goals in, in two games. That's not good. So what's happening? Where are they coming from? We'll start in the crease. we got to get better in that area. Our back end wasn't uh, real strong against Colorado. It was better tonight. Our special teams gave up two on the power play tonight. That's not good. So it's happening from all over the place. Um, we will score enough goals to win games. I, I believe we will. It's the tightening up of uh, certain areas of our game. And tonight, I... Point at, uh, at individuals. I don't think our team was bad. I think some individuals were sloppy. Todd, your power play gets two goals tonight, but they give up two shorties. Is there more positive take from the two goals or negatives from the two shorties? Goals in that? Um, I would say that the uh, you know the, sh the, the shorthanded goals were again I think more individual than group or system or structure, unfortunately. Um, but to score two. Pull your goalie and get another one um, against Carolina, who was notoriously very stingy with power play, penalty kill situations. Um, we'll take that tonight. You seem to mix up the deep pairs there in the third period. What did you like uh, with the new pairings that you saw? Um, they were all over the map. Uh, Matt Roy was in the box for, for six minutes tonight, so that forced us to play uh, with different pairings. And, um, you know, some individuals have a little more offensive. Um, more offense in their game, um, and we needed to get those guys on the ice a little bit more. So it's not necessarily mixing the pairs up; it's just playing the, uh, the situation that's in front of us. Are you giving up ten goals in two games? Maybe some of the same issues we saw last year. It's been trying to win shootouts. Does it make it easier to climb out of this because we dealt with this similar thing last year? 
Um, I, I would answer, I, I'm going to answer that question with the question, why are we having to dig out of it again? You know, and that's, that's what we'll address. Um, this feels a little different than last year. This feels a lot more individual based than, um, than group based. As a team, what were the players able to do well in order to stabilize things to kind of counteract that risk that you mentioned? Well, the resilience uh, would be easy to, to roll over, but they, I think we have some players in our bottom six or certainly in that bottom, you know, that fourth line, if you will, that have a lot of drive and, and energy and they're able to bring us back into the game and uh, they didn't let anybody sulk on the bench or anything like that. So I, I credit that group for for dragging us back into the fight. Uh, Carl gets bumped up in this game and gets a big assist late. How nice is it to have a player that can just play anywhere in the lineup and succeed? Utility, man. Um, it's good to have um, skills all over the place. And if he loses a little bit of ice time, he is not, we don't lose him as a player. He's right back into it. Physical, one of our more physical forwards. Um, Use his money in the shootout. At least he has been uh, in practice. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't work for him tonight, but Happy for him. On the uh, TV broadcast, Rob was interviewed and he said Arvidsson is likely working in surgery. Do you yep. know when that's going to happen? Um, I think he's there's potential for this week uh, coming up and he'll have some surgery. He'll be out for a long time. I can't give you a date, obviously, or anything like that, but he's on LTIR. And uh, that's opened up some cap space and some roster opportunities for players that. Uh, that are anxious to, to get them. And Jod was one of them. He had a real good night tonight. Got Arthur uh, got rid of his last game of suspension. Just what do you expect tonight coming back to the lineup? How can he help this team? Well, what does he do well? He's a big man. He skates. He shoots. Um, that has to be in his game. I think there's more physicality to his game. We saw that in exhibition season. He seems to be more confident, and I think his engine's better. So sounds like we have a player, but it still has to happen on, on the ice. And, He'll get that opportunity to, to deliver.